think that I'm Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosalie Kenzie. If you're new here, if you're not, thank you once again for being here. So I read the big three. I feel like honestly, I feel like the Chestnut Spring series has been like the the series of the summer. The the, the the book of the summer. I have seen this book literally everywhere. Book talk, Instagram, now thread. I have seen it. I have seen it everywhere and I feel like everybody and the mothers and the grandfathers, everyone has read this book. So I got them. I got them because well you know FOMO. The whole series revolves around cowboys and at first, listen, at first I was like I don't I don't know if this is for me. I don't I don't know if this is for me. And then I got it. And now I'm like well, howdy, y'all! <laughs> like, I just... Now I want a hat, and I want a horse. I love this. But yeah, there's five books in this series. However, I only read the first three. And the first one is called Flawless, the second Heartless, and the third Powerless. I did not read a Reckless in this video, but we'll definitely read it soon. So the first one is called Flawless, and Flawless follows Summer and Red. Red is a bull rider, and he's really good at it. Everyone loves him, all of this. He's like a golden boy, you know? He's really, really good at what he does. However, lately, he just cannot stop getting into trouble, you know? He just keeps getting into trouble every time. And so he got caught on camera saying something. I also did something that was really, really dramatic. <laughs> It was a little dramatic and so since he cannot stop getting in trouble he's losing sponsor his agent is mad outrageous really pissed off enter summer summer is his agent daughter who was sent out to kind of like babysit red yeah to make sure he stayed put and make sure that he looks like the golden boy that everyone knows and loves <laughs> expect me to be loving this book as much as I am I I don't know what to say <laughs> because like when you when you read the back or you know the synopsis of it a whole promise of the book is about a bold writer I'm just like mm, this is not a problem this is not for me this is not something that I go for but I do not I do not because I am loving I am loving this book I am smiling so hard like I I cannot help it. I just love it so much. Basically, Red was caught on camera saying something odd. He was caught on camera saying that he doesn't like something. And that's something, he has a partnership, like a sponsorship with a company of that certain thing. So, you know, they dropped him. And on top of that, he, he punched paparazzi. And that's when I was just like, well, you know, I, I understand. I understand why they're dropping you. Because, like, why are you doing this? You're 32 years old. Why is this a thing? What, why are you doing this, Red? Come on, get your act together. But, yeah, he was cutting camera saying he doesn't like something. And that sponsorship dropped him. And now entered Summer. Summer is his agent's daughter. And uh, she was basically sent out to babysit him, to, to, watch, to look out for him, to make sure that he doesn't get in trouble. To, like, train him <laughs> to be good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was like, I don't like the word babysit. Like, to train him to be good to make sure he was great he wasn't getting you know in more trouble you know so yeah so now she's going to spend two months with him just like full-time supervision <laughs> and with all of that comes everything else that will happen later in this book but yeah i just i love this book the winter between red and summer i just i can't help it i'm smiling so hard like red portrays himself like i guess he's grumpy but this man grumpiness is just like the ultimate grumpiness like i've heard some sunshine and grumpy but this man is grumpy grumpy but like at the same time he's like so cute and like funny and stuff and oh my god his family 
I love his dad Harvey. His dad Harvey is so welcoming. Like it's so nice. Like when Summer first came there, he welcomed Summer. He was the one who opened the door and stuff. And he was just so kind and so funny. I was like, oh, I love Harvey. Protect this man. <laughs> and he has. Oh my God, Red has two brothers. Bo, I I pray. One of this book is about Bo because I want to read his story. I, I cannot. This man is too funny. Like, oh my God. So one thing that happened, this had me laughing so hard. So one thing that happened, basically <laughs> Summer and Rhett went into this bar, but Rhett basically like just Summer. He went and talked to other people. So she was there alone and everything. However, um, Bo was coming to the bar also. So he came with his friend Jasper. So Summer went to sit with them. My daughter, she's here. My window is open. So, Bo basically gave the racist twenty dollars, and he said, "If you bring a rest, a girly milk based drink for every one of those drink, I'll give you twenty dollars." Like I literally died because if you read this book, you know why he's doing that, and I couldn't. Out. I was literally gasping for air. I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, oh, that is cruel. That is cruel. So he sent it like the first drink, the second, the third. It was just like, what are you doing? Finally, he went over and they're talking all of this. And I don't know, like something about that. I was just like, that is family. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was like, that is literally family. Because if my sister knows something about me, best believe she's gonna make fun of me <laughs> in, in, in a way or two. But yeah, that that made me laugh. And I was just like, I need both story. Like I just need story. I'm loving this so far. It's fast paced. The way she writes just keeps you in the story. And it's just like, I'm going through this book really fast and I love it. But yeah. So I forgot to say, so every chapter of this book start with like a text message thread and they actually really funny. They are actually really funny. I thought I was going to get tired of them like, oh, I don't think I'm going to like this. But like every single one that I see, it's just funny. Like some will be between Red and his agent will be between Summer and Red. This one just made me laugh chapter 17. So Summer basically is going to a meeting and she just tell Red, she's like, Please don't do anything stupid when I'm at the staff meeting. I trust you to hold it together for one afternoon. And when it's just like, shit, princess, um, I don't know, I might go crazy without you. They're not together yet. They're not together yet. You know, but you know, they're feeling each other. And then someone was just like, for doc's sake. But <laughs> you know, you know when you like type the effort on iPhone, it just fix it to doc. <laughs> it's like for doc's sake. And then she write it again, doc, doc. She's like. <laughs> Why can't my fun just learn the word? And then he said, and then he says, Quack. I don't know, like, I love her writing. I love her writing. Just, I'm just loving this. I'm loving it. This is so surprising. I'm sh I'm literally so shocked that I love this as much as I did. But this is so good. Like I literally I could not stop. Like the characters, the plot, everything was just so perfect. I love Summer in this book, the main girl character. I just love her. Like she had her head on her shoulder. She was not backing down in the beginning when Red was just like all grumpy and stuff. She's like, no, <laughs> like this is it. And I'm just like, ah. I love this. I love a strong girly. You know, I love that. In red, it was just like, <sighs> I love how he wasn't just like romance. Like, like I feel like they connected emotionally first before they were just like, we're together, let's do this. You know what I mean? Like, I, like Summer told him about um, her health when she was like really young. She had surgery, all of this thing. And then he opened up to her too. And it's just like, she told him about, about some family stuff. It was just so good. And then the end just shocked me because, mm, something happened i was like oh okay i did not i was quite shocked i was like 
oh my god okay like the plot the everything was just so good if you can't tell it's a five it's a five because like literally the moment i was done i'm just like why do i want to read this again why why do i just want to read this again and the last time that happened to me was when i was done reading like when like uh, the ballad of never after and there was the last time i'm just like i i want to i want to go back and read this again so the second one of the series is called heartless heartless is about kate and willa and kate is the older brother of red and willa is Summer's best friend who we met in Flawless and Willa is going to be a babysitter to Cade. He has a five-year-old son Luke and so that's interesting because I don't think I've never I don't think I ever read a single father book. I don't think I've read that. Yeah I like I literally I cannot remember any book so I don't I don't think I've read that but that that should be interesting because I don't think I've read that. Also I remember Kate being literally so grumpy and then when I just read the back it literally says working as a nanny for the world's grumpiest grumpiest single dad alive she'll been she'll have been simple like he was actually grumpy so I'm so excited to see how how she's gonna break down his wall because this man was grumpy but yeah i'm excited to see it to read that and i want to start this maybe later tonight or maybe tomorrow we'll see but yeah this is artless and it's about kate and willa <laughs> heartless morning i love flawless because flawless was great flawless was good of the plot the characters summer red everything was great but this one is pulling on my heartstrings so so much i'm just like oh my god like i did not think that i could love i don't i didn't think that i would love heartless more than i love flawless but i think i do i really think i do because so basically this is about kate kate is the older brother of um the three brothers we met kate and flawless and kate was just so grumpy and mad all the time and just angry at the world and they lost their mom at a young age i think he was like eight when um, he, um they lost their mom and so since he was the oldest he basically just take more responsibility than than a kid had to help his dad out since he was the oldest of the three and his dad was around his dad is a good dad but just seeing how his dad was struggling raising the three and like the fact that his dad just loved lost the love of his life he felt bad and just kind of like straight up like grew up too fast and then he started helping his dad out and that's when you read that you realize why he's so grumpy and why he's so mean all the time it's because he had to grow up fast and to take care of his brothers to help his father take care of his brothers and i don't know that just pulled on my heartstring i felt so bad i'm just like oh my god he just like grew up so fast and when he was telling willa that he opened up i my heart sank i was just like oh my god i understand now and he had to be independent at a very young age because willa did his laundry for him and he he didn't like it when he came home he was like did you do my laundry what did you do and she was just like oh i did your laundry it was a basket i did it and he was mad but then after he said no one has ever done my laundry before and that's when you realize that oh wow like at a young age he had to learn how to do his laundry he had to learn how to take care of stuff he had to learn how to cook he loves cooking and it's just I love him so much like I honestly didn't think that I could let go of summer in red but I'm just like it's okay <laughs> like give me give me Rilla and Kate I will sit there and read this and be like and blushing all the time but however I do have a doctor's appointment that I have to go to I want to finish this today I desperately want to finish it I think I'm going to buy the audiobook it's a long drive I'm like I'm going to listen to it and when I get back home I'm going to finish it so I can stop powerless because the cover screams beautiful and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's our way. Route 66 and we keep on driving. We just do what we want. 
Okay, so I'm back from the doctor. I've been back for a while and I'm currently in chapter 26. Can I just say, it was a bad idea. It was a bad idea for me to get the audiobook and go to the doctor and wait in the waiting room. Honestly, I was in the waiting room like, this man and Willa just kept making me smile and also like the way kate is i was just like oh my god please stop why are you like this something about the chemistry the benter the way willa gets on his last nerve but he loves it ah i live i'm so in love i don't know what to say other than like i'm in love this is i'm almost done don't want this to end because i don't know what i'm gonna do like i'm gonna read powerless but i'm just like um I, I don't think i'm ready to let this one go oh my god in the waiting room just smiling so hard and i was trying to hide it because you know i don't want people to think i'm crazy like why is this girl smiling but i just i couldn't help it i could not help it oh my god oh my god and then there was crack in this book there had to be there's no way that she didn't put something in there because the way i was addicted to this character to this story they had to be crack love willa i love kate they are now honestly like in the list of my favorite couple i just i just i love this story so so much the way that willa had kate break down his walls for her the way that she cared for luke the way that she cared for their relationship it was just so beautiful i just love this so much honestly and one of the thing one of the thing that really hurt me throughout the throughout the whole entire book was the fact that um kate kept saying that he just didn't want to be left behind like so you know his wife left him and their son and his mom died giving birth like to their little sister violet so he felt like he just he's always been left behind almost and so he's just like i don't want to fall in love with someone i don't want to fall in love like he didn't want to fall in love with willa just for her to end up leaving because at the end of the day the job the the job that she had being uh looks nanny was just for the summer which is two months so he was just like mm, i don't know and he was like so hesitated to fall for willa because he's just like well like i don't want like look to get like too used to her and then for her to end up leaving and now she's not just gonna be leaving me she's gonna end up leaving luke and that's another person again leaving luke because that ex-wife <laughs> that ex-wife oof hated her <laughs> hated her she wasn't in the book for a very long time but when that girl was there i was just like why are you here please go away go away but i just i love this i they, they had to be cracked they had to be cracked in this because i could i was addicted i could not put this down i thought i thought flawless i was like oh my god i can't put this down but this the audiobook and this together chef kissed love it i i just i love it so so much i'm so excited now to start powerless however i do have a headache so i will start powerless tomorrow because i honestly i have the worst headache right now so yeah but powerless i just read the back it, it's about jasper and i don't know why i thought it was about bo like the third brother but it's about jasper jasper is it like a like he's in the family but he's adopted into the family said it through jasper's story all we know about jasper in this one is that he's super super quiet like every single time he's mentioned he was mentioned in um flawless he was quiet just sitting there quiet but he's a he's a nfl player something hockey he's something he's a sport person powerless followed jasper in sloan and yeah i'm excited to read that one because i did not expect it to be about jasper at all see you guys tomorrow when i start reading powerless which is about jasper <laughs>
is cracked and that was a fiend for it when i tell you i could not stop it was a whole butterfly effect in my stomach for all of these books i just couldn't help it when i was just like flawless is definitely my favorite and then i read heartless and i was just like no definitely definitely and then i read powerless and i was just like oh my god i finished powerless two days ago and jasper was different from um rhett and uh Cade. he was really different he, jasper was well reserved he was yeah, he was silent, well reserved, like like his head was down all the time, honestly. Like even in Flawless when we first met him, when his head was down the whole time. And then in Heartless when we saw him again, he was still quiet, reserved, all of that. And then we read this one and he was quiet, like you know, the sad boy-ish until it came to Slange. He did not play. He, that man did not play. I was like, oh. Or even Slunge, the main character, she was just like, I didn't know he was like that. Jasper was not the protective, controlling, you know, type. But when it comes to Slunge, protective, and I loved every chapter. I just Slunge is our ballerina, and she's the cousin of the Eames family. And the first time she showed Jasper, she was just like, Who is this boy with sad eyes and this and that? She fell in love with her, with him desperately desperately he was obsessed with her too however just you know nothing nothing happened until slunch was getting married and on the day of her wedding she got a text from this unknown number and it was her husband to be cheating on her days for the wedding obviously the wedding didn't happen because jasper just saved her and ran away so we had like like a runaway bright set of oh it was just, just so perfect honestly i don't know what she puts in her book but i i i was not mad at it i was a fiend for all of them so they are all five out of five for me and if you have not read any of them please pick them up and they are available on kindle thank you so much for watching this video hope you like it if you did give it a thumbs up and yeah stay blessed and i'll see you next time bye, bye.